We're doing them just on everything. I feel like this one though. Is it okay if I like lean back or something? Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. I don't want to work with your preferred vendor partner. Is that the question? That's not a question. <laughs> Irish wristwatches. <laughs> Try that. Irish wrist. <laughs> I already failed. It's hard. Irish. It like takes years of trying it. How do I differentiate myself? I can say Irish wrist watches, and I bet you can't. <laughs> What's up? It's Andy G here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I get a lot of questions about the nuances of selling a house here in Charlotte. And so I figured this would be a great opportunity to just go over some of the frequently asked questions and help answer some of them so you have a better idea of what it looks like to sell a house here in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Charlotte market is very hot. There is an unbelievably low amount of supply and a lot of demand. And because of that, it is a great time to sell. The most important things to make sure that are updated in your home are kitchen and bathrooms. If the master bathroom is really nice and the kitchen is really nice, the buyers can typically see past, you know, a backsplash that they don't like or a little bit of carpet that's a little old or if the backyard is not fenced. Maybe they'll fence the backyard if the master bath is beautiful and feels like a spa that they're gonna be using every single day. These are two of the most important things because they are things that everyone uses every day. I don't even really cook and I still use my kitchen every single day. Okay, so you don't want to update all your bathrooms and you don't want to do a kitchen renovation before you sell your house. That's fine. A lot of people don't want to. If you want to do some more minor things, you can do things anywhere from painting and just touching up some of the paint in your house to decluttering. And those two things can really help with selling a house. If your house is vacant or you've already moved out of the house, it's a great idea to stage your house. It sounds weird, but if there's furniture in the home, it actually can make some of the rooms feel bigger than if it's totally vacant. That along with if you are living in the house, sometimes it can be a good idea to bring a stager through so they can help you redesign or maybe redecorate a couple items so that way it flows well when buyers are coming through the house. When it comes to marketing your home, I cover all the marketing expenses, whether it's photography, drone photography, videos like this, flyers, boosting ads, anything that kind of falls in between all of that, I cover that so you don't have to worry about that because my goal is to do those things in order to help you sell your house for more money and faster. So I always tell people the four biggest things that sell your home are location, condition, marketing, and price. The location is super critical. As we always say in real estate, location, location, location. You get that. The condition is something that we can work on, whether they're major or minor that you can focus on. The marketing is a huge piece that's come into play lately, especially with a lot of the social media opportunities for marketing your home. And then that lastly leaves us with price. If we price too high, we won't have many showings or we're gonna have a lot of showings and no offers. And if we price too low, then we're gonna end up with 20 or 30 offers in a matter of what will feel like minutes of listing the home. Even in a hot market like here in Charlotte, you still need someone who can be your advocate. You still need someone who can help you navigate all the different nuances of contracts and putting these deals together. There's gonna to be a lot of questions from buyer's agents and a lot more questions from different buyers. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can sometimes get taken advantage of. And there are different things in these contracts that you really need to make sure are completely buttoned up or you're gonna find yourself in a lot of trouble while you're under contract with those buyers. When there's over 18,000 agents here in Charlotte, we have to do different things to differentiate ourselves. That's why I've done things like partnering with Ryan Serhant and his team up in New York. That's why I do things with social media. And that's why Instagram is so important for me. That's why YouTube is so important for me. Doing these videos is very important. Having a platform online with social media is critical now. And I like to be able to tap into that to get as many eyeballs on your house as possible. Because like I've said before, more eyeballs on your home and more people viewing your home when we go to list it 
means more potential interested buyers. So if you're looking to sell your house here in Charlotte, here is a great place for you to go. Here is a button where you can check and find out what your home is worth. Everywhere else on the website, if you need to find my information, it's on here. If you wanna text me, great. If you wanna call me, awesome. Let's talk and we can get your house ready to sell.